Today I did my very first Pedago slash GoPro test ride. Using my bicycle, I just did the, the local neighborhood, some of the scenery, if you will. I mean, there isn't much here to see. It's just a local neighborhood, but letting people see where I live, the neighborhood where I live. I can go further afield later, but I wanted to do it, of course, with my new GoPro camera with the handlebar mount, so I could mount it on the handlebar of my bicycle. And what I noticed from watching other GoPro videos is that there was no background noise. I saw this one clip where these two guys were biking, three, because the handlebar, the camera had to be on the handlebars of the third bike, but they were going down this rocky uh, dirt trail. No background noise. So I pretty much knew what they were doing. It was no audio for the camera, but they were doing voiceovers. So what I did was I bought a little voice recorder, and as I edited the video, choosing the various clips, I used my voice recorder to do a voiceover for each of those clips. So watch the video. This is where I live. If you're curious to see the, what the neighborhood looks like, here's your time. This is a little ride through the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. <laughs> Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I'm going around speed bumps here, obviously. And then up here, I can turn left. This is the upper end of the park. I'm going out the side entrance because it's a lot easier to get across the avenue. So this side entrance leads out onto a little dead end side road. And then I can ride down to the avenue. And it looks like there's some construction work going on here too. We'll see more construction work on the avenue. I think they were doing work on plumbing for the condos over there to the right. And now coming up on the stop sign, this is the avenue. I'll explain a little bit here. Stopping, looking for traffic. Down here to the left, down there is where the shopping centers are. I'll take you down there one of these days and show you the stores that are down there, all within walking distance. But what we're going to do is we're going to cross the avenue here with no cars coming. And then right over here at the bus stop is a good place for me to get up onto the bike path. This bike path over here to the left, I'll get rid of that stick later. Uh, this bike path is fairly new. They built this late last year and they're still doing some work, as we'll see by the construction up top. Some of these utility poles have to be moved because they're right in the middle of the lanes. What they're doing up here, I think, is they're working on the traffic signals. So checking for traffic. No cars coming across the road. They make a lot of noise over there, especially when they're breaking up concrete. Okay, coming up on an intersection here. I jumped ahead quite a bit. These intersections are tricky because some people, like this one's going to let me go. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Some people, they look for cars, but they don't look for bicycles. I was hit by a car at one time because the driver wasn't looking for a bicycle. All right, we're going to continue on up. It's a pretty good long bike path here. It goes all along the residential section from the supermarkets on up to, there's a school up here, Elwood School. What I wanted to point out here is the sun is just starting to come out. You can see shadows on the road. This is the time of year that people often refer to as June gloom because we have this cloud cover that comes in, an ocean layer from the ocean, leaving us cloudy for most of the morning. But by around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, the sun comes out, and then it's sunny, blue skies for the remainder of the day. And here the bike path comes to an end, and we're on a dual-use sidewalk. We're going to turn left here, because this is a parking lot I want to show you. This is beach access, sort of, because there's a long pathway through the fields that takes you to the ocean. 
what I want to draw your attention to here is look at the my bike handlebar to the lower right as I'm going over these sort of cobbles, these tiles, how much vibration I'm getting, but the stability of the picture is pretty good compared to how the bike is vibrating. Okay, we can leave the parking lot here now and keep on going toward the west. This is kind of crazy sidewalk here. It's fun to bike because it swerves back and forth and you can see how little traffic there is on this sidewalk. Very rarely do you ever see anybody up here. If they're running, they're usually running along the side of the street. So I consider this to be like a dual-use sidewalk. It's for both, both for bicycles and for pedestrians. Coming up here, right around here, I'm going to turn left again. And I'm going to show you one of the newer communities in our neighborhood. It's a gated community. Beautiful multi-million dollar homes. I'm not going to go inside. You can go inside. There's the gate to the side is open, but we're going to go back up onto the avenue again. I'm going to cross the road here when there are no cars coming. And I can pick up a bike path here on the side of the road. There's not much here, but I wanted to draw your attention to this building coming up on the left. You can barely see it now, but here it comes. That's owned by the oil companies. It used to be a gas station. There was a store in the back. It's all fenced off now. People aren't allowed in there. People have been trying for decades to buy that little piece of property and restore it. And the oil company won't sell it. I wish the city under eminent domain would buy it and restore it. Coming up to an intersection here. Will this truck let me go? Sometimes they do. Yeah, he's waving me through. It's always nice when they do. They don't have to yield to the cyclists, of course. I had a stop sign. But it always makes me feel safer when they see me and then wave me through. Okay, I'm going to be turning left up here. To the left is the Sandpiper Golf Course. A decent little golf course. I don't play golf. My brother and his wife love to play golf. They live in Florida. And they actually live on a golf course. The home they live in was built as part of a golf course. But what I want to do over here, I like the view from the corner of this parking lot. I'm going to stop over here near the fence. And today isn't the clearest day, but on the horizon there, that's the Pacific Ocean. That's how close I live to the ocean here in Southern California. It's always within walking or biking distance. This isn't a badly maintained golf course considering the drought here in Southern California. I'm going to be turning left here. I've turned around actually. The golf course is now to the right, but I'm going to go left onto Cathedral Oaks Road. A couple of bridges here. This first bridge goes over the railroad tracks. In some of my videos you've heard the trains go by. Well, this is the tracks. The freeway entrance is right here. This can be at times a pretty busy section, so I'm being careful here. And now going over the freeway. All right, I want to turn the left here because there's a bike path across the street on the corner over there. It's supposed to be a bike path. Everybody uses it as a sidewalk, so I don't bike up here too often. They have a sidewalk. They don't use the sidewalk. They walk on the bike path. It's not a big issue right now because this bike path is actually closed. You'll see the sign up here. Some problems with erosion. Here's some cyclists on the side of the road. But what I wanted you to see was the mountains. Those are our Santa Inez Mountains. So I live between the mountains and the ocean. And beautiful blue sky now. Alright, I'm heading back the way I came. I'm going to turn left here. Back onto the avenue. There's a sign over there that mentions the Butterfly Grove. We have a Monarch Butterfly Grove in the area. One of these days I'll take you over there as well. And I have some pictures of the Monarchs. I'm going to slow down here and pick up the bike path again. This is that new bike path I told you about earlier. And I'm going to follow this all the way home. 
Okay, here I am back on the side road next to the trailer park, turning into the mobile home park, which I always call a trailer park. And then this is the street on which I live. Most of my neighbors are gone because it is a weekday and they have to work. <laughs> I'm retired. I don't. There's one of my neighbors there, but I don't talk to him because he doesn't speak English and I don't speak Spanish. Nice man, though. He lives with his grandson. I can tell when his grandson is home. The truck is there, which the grandson owns, and he also owns a really nice yellow Mustang, and there it is. So the grandson, Junior, he goes by the name Junior, he's home. And then right down here on the corner with the citrus trees out front, that's where I live. That's my quaint little double-wide mobile home. I'm very pleased about it. So there it is. There's a little, a little excursion around the neighborhood, and that's just the neighborhood to the west. There's even more to show you to the east, like where the shopping centers are, all the great stores that I can bike to or walk to to buy something like this. For example, I bought this today over at Best Buy. So there's a lot more to show you and then some worthwhile videos to do in the other areas a little bit further out. And I still want to ride, take my bike. I want to carry my bike to some places like San Luis Obispo and so forth, Morro Bay, and show you some areas around around this area so uh if you like my kitchen vlog feel free to subscribe tell others about it um forward it or whatever you can do to link it to show others oh i gotta tell you i was in the best buy store today uh, to buy this voice recorder and i saw the manager i said are you the manager he says yeah what can i do for you i said your guy that works over in electronics, Jay, he is the nicest, most helpful employee you've got. He helped me buy my GoPro and he helped me buy this. And I said, and I even have a vlog that you can look at where I talk about a little bit about Jay. And he took out his, his smartphone. He said, well, what's the name of your vlog? <laughs> I said, it's, it's my kitchen vlog. So he, he did it on his phone. I showed up and the video. I buy a GoPro. <laughs> the last video I did popped up. I said, there I am. You can watch my video in which I talk a little bit about Jay. <laughs> that was kind of fun. So anyways, that's the latest. Um, feel free to subscribe. Tell others about it. And thanks for listening.